839, Big 550, ATRS. I hold in my hand the award-winning Feast Magazine. <laughs> Feastmagazine.com is where you can find out more, and you can get it delivered right to your front doorstep if you subscribe at Feastmagazine.com. Yes. Kat Neville is their uh, publisher, and she joins us every Wednesday to talk food. It's all sponsored by Twisted Tree Steakhouse. It's the newest offering from the Cyberg family at Watson and Lindbergh in Sunset Hills. They're now serving lunch. Check out their Sip and Savor Happy Hour 3 to 6. Jimmy Christo's running the whole thing over there. 314-394-3366 or twistedtreesteakhouse.com. Good morning, Kat Neville. Good morning. Uh, what are we doing today? All right, so today I am talking about our tastemakers issue. So we do this every January um, where we kind of give you a roadmap for where you should be dining in Mm -hmm. the year ahead. Um, So we have best new rising stars and most anticipated kind of outlined throughout this entire section. And so... Kelly, if you'd please turn to page 68. Okay. Ooh, on the wrong page. 68. My 68's not in here. <laughs> so I can't go through all of them. Are so we going to be tested on this later? Absolutely. Right. Um, so I, I couldn't go through all of them. So I'm just going to kind of do a few highlights yeah. of places that I thought were really interesting standouts. Number one, um, a rising star is Samantha Mitchell from Farm Truck. And she was the sous chef at Annie Guns for a oh. number of years. And so what she She's done is she's launched this food truck um, that focuses on snoot to tail butchery. Um, and 85% of her truck's ingredients are sourced within 100 miles. And which is, you know, when you think about food trucks, you don't necessarily think about you know, nose to tail um, cooking, Mm -hmm. but she really is very focused on incredibly fresh and local ingredients um, served from her truck. Um, Everything is non-GMO. All of her meats are grass fed and uh, her just her food is just it's it's like six to your ribs. Um, Mm -hmm. And she also just recently um, opened up a a new box lunch program called Farm Box, where she will deliver the these box lunches to offices. What a that's a great idea. It is. Yeah. So keep keep your eye on Samantha. So the but but the uh, the name of her truck is called Farm Farm Truck. Farm Truck. Farm Truck. Now where I mean do you have to like follow her on Facebook to figure out where she is? Twitter. Twitter. But I mean so she's on social. um, But if you go to to farmtrackstl.com you can find out all that information okay and she goes from place to place every day and you can she does you can get her you can call her chase her down but Mm -hmm. i mean you could call her and say hey we're having a festival why don't you come and spend some time absolutely just like all the other trucks absolutely okay and she was on guys grocery games she's planning on opening up a brick and mortar in the next couple of years so keep your eyes on her all right um another spot that i thought would be fun to mention is local chef kitchen which is a fast casual spot in baldwin um and and so Rob Umera, he was the chef at uh, Yaya's for mm. a bunch of years. Mm. And so since 2010, he has partnered up with Benny, Benny's Best Meat in St. Charles um, to grow his own produce. And then he harvests his own um, like peppers and cucumbers and carrots and kale and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and he uses all of that in his um, in his location. Like I said, it's fast casual just 30 seats, and it's in Baldwin. Um, so you can do things like a Wagyu beef pastrami, um, a chicken soup made with chanterelles and leeks. Um, he does a Missouri pecan pie with bourbon. Mm-hmm. Um, he like he has a grilled cheese with house-made bread, and you can add a fried duck egg to that. So fast, casual, again, kind of like a farm truck, or a food truck, sorry, with this kind of um, nose-to-tail butchery, and then you have a fast, casual spot with these hand harvested ingredients, um, just really a kind of a mashup of what we very often um, assign to fine dining or more expensive places mm-hmm. to go. And here you have like fast casual and, and food trucks. And yeah. you're saying this is the best new restaurant? It's one of one the best. Of one, of, uh, one of the yeah. best. So okay. we have a number. So what gotcha. we've done is we have put together, like I said, most anticipated coming up. So for example, Billie Jean, which is uh, Zoe Robinson, she is going to oh, be opening yeah. that up. Oh. Visia is is going to be coming um, from the Galenas. Uh, Good Fortune, we're in, eagerly anticipating that. Shake Shack is coming. Nudo House mm. is coming. So we've kind of outlined all of these places, but they aren't open yet. This is yet. fantastic. I love it. It's how so you, fun. Yeah. When is Shake Shack opening up? Um, it is supposed to be late to that. 
later on this year. Mm -hmm. So there is no exact date, but it will be later on this year. Um, Nudo House, which everybody knows, is um, is coming up. So that should be in the next couple of months, hopefully. Um, the Blue Duck is uh, opening up a new location. They are a great restaurant in Washington, Missouri. They're going to be opening up here. Um, Louis is going to be, if you remember King Louis. <gasps> yes. Oh. That was one of my favorite. Of course it was. Right there on well, that was over by the Shoto. Yeah, yeah Shoto. on yeah, Shoto. Yeah, yeah. Shoto. Yep. So that was legendary. Yeah. So he's going to be um, taking over. So it's uh, it's Matt McGuire, yeah. obviously. And so he's going to be taking over part of the old um, Jimmy's on the Park spot. Oh. Yeah. I'm yep. excited. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about that. So there's a lot going on in the food scene right now. Wow. Um, and then we also, I, I mentioned that we're, we're doing um, Rising Star, uh, you know, highlights. Um, Hannah Chung is kind of an unsung hero in the kitchen. She's at Bird and Barrel and also Good Fortune and doing some really, really cool Ooh. stuff. So we have a little profile of her. Also, Olive and Oak, which I know that you're Hopefully, hopefully going, getting in Saturday. Hopefully going to be going to. <laughs> yes. um, so, I mean, yeah, the the entire issue is just full this of great fantastic. stuff. And then, of course, we also outline wonderful places in Kansas City and Springfield, Columbia, Jeff City. Um, so if you're interested, obviously, in hitting the road and checking out everything that's going on across the state, we have lots and lots of great All right, spots this is on you. newsstands now? It is. And uh, you can get it uh, more online, and, of yep. course, you can get it. Uh, do you print up more of these? This seems to be like a bigger issue. Or uh, um, We print the same amount every, every, every month. Every, every episode. Yeah, but everything is available online. So if you can't find a copy, just go to feastmagazine.com. Now, I know I'm looking at your your tastemaker, so you yeah. have the best of the best here. But it seems like, Cat Neville, that there is an explosion. Yes, there is an explosion <laughs> of these new artisan, yes. smaller, yes. micro, foodie type places. Absolutely. Um, what we're seeing right now is it's almost like a golden age of American dining. And um, people are opening up. Uh, a lot of really great food can be had inexpensively in small places, um, and you're finding a lot of folks are opening up, for example, um, you know, Yolklore. That's another one of our best new spots. It's just breakfast and brunch. And, you know, they're doing extremely creative, interesting food, and they aren't following just a path. They aren't coming yeah. and saying, well, I'm going to have to have... I'm going to recreate exactly what I saw somebody else do. People are really putting themselves into it, thinking outside of the box, experimenting with new flavors. And, um, and it's not just in concentrated restaurant neighborhoods. Um, you know, for example, Yolklore is in Crestwood. Right. And they are packed every single day. They're just and they're, finding a space that they can sort of work, rework, whatever they can do to get in. And, and places making, that used to be just chain restaurants and fast food, you're finding that people are opening up these neighborhood, mm -hmm. locally owned um, spots in those places like Baldwin, um, oh. in the case of Local Chef, right. and, and Crestwood, in the case of Yolklore. And they're doing extremely well. Yeah. So you're finding, um, you know, Previously, where you might just find a lot of these kind of chef-driven places in Clayton or the Central West End right. or downtown, it's now all over the entire St. Louis That's area. Feast, it's wonderful. Feastmagazine.com, no doubt, thanks to Cat Neville helping this along. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Tastemakers 2017, newsstands everywhere. Yes. Thanks for coming in. Happy You're welcome. Thank you. Eight